Dude, did you hear about Meek Mill? No, what about Meek Mill? He's probably gonna go to prison for two to four years. Oh yeah, the probation broke shit? His pro broke his probation by riding a dirt bike through an area. That's, that's how he broke his probation? Yeah, he rode a dirt bike out of his probation period. And it's crazy because the day before that, he took 35 kids to like an event. Like he was just doing something nice for someone. I feel sorry for the man. Like he hasn't done anything wrong at one time and then he just breaks the probation. Well, how does how does that break your probation? Well, probation is like more like you can't, you have to like, I think stay within a certain area at a certain time frame. It's like a good good behavior sort of thing. And he broke that. Oh, he left the area? Yeah, I think so. He left the area he was supposed to be in. Man. All right, well. So two to four years in prison he's looking That's at. heavy. Okay. I wanna... So what are we doing right now? We're doing what we said we would do in the comments. Jungle Beach driving. Is that what we're gonna call it? Jungle. How about how about? Or you could driving driving with Jungle Beats. Driving with Jungle Beats. There we go. Oh, the hound. No, bumping in the whip with Jungle Beats. Nah, I like a rhyme. And driving with Jungle Beats. I kind of. How's that? How's that rhyme? Driving with Jungle Beats. Doesn't that? Is that sound smooth though? It sounds smooth though. But like, or you could be like. Cruise, cruising with the beats in the jungle. That's no, I'm not doing that. Yeah, drive now. With no, 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 no. speeding, speeding bullet to the beats jungle. All right, nice. driving with jungle beats, we good. <laughs> um. <laughs> so basically, this gives us an opportunity to just talk, man. To just exactly. talk life, talk music, talk everything mm -hmm. in a more relaxed, conversational type way. You just put this on in the background. While you're eating something or chilling at home or driving, like a podcast. I think also for another time as well, we could also like maybe leave, leave one of our phones up here and have like a live going as well, so we can answer questions as we're doing this Ooh, as well. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, I want to address the thing. So we talk about Meek Mill going to prison for two to four years. Mm -hmm. Is that is that going to be confirmed? Is that? Well, I'll go. To, I'll go to the link now so I can get the exact details. Why do you find that? that link? I just watched the Chris Brown documentary. Um, have you heard about that? Uh, I have. I, is that the Netflix one? Yeah, the Netflix one. I heard. Did you did you see they released a fifty track album? No way. 50, he dropped a fifty track mic, like album. I the one with the heart on the front. Yeah, yeah. That's fifty tracks. Oh, it's forty eight tracks. What the fuck? So me and Chris listened to it, and there was one track we liked. One track. One track we liked. Oh my god. The rest of it, boring motherfucking. You, you know what the Chris Brown for me? Every Chris Brown album I've listened to, I like one or two tracks, and then the rest is just filler. Oh, it's okay. just been every Chris Brown album. That's just, that's just me. That's so interesting. The documentary, like, Khaled, DJ Khaled was comparing Michael Jackson to Chris Brown. I'm like... Maybe, like, in his very early stages. Yeah, maybe when he was a kid. He, he hasn't showed growth, in my opinion. I haven't seen growth from him since, like... So the album that sort of people fucked up was Graffiti, right? Because he had, like, his, he had his Chris Brown album, just Chris Brown. Then he had Exclusive, which did pretty well, too. Then after they had Graffiti, which failed miserably. But uh, the reason I liked Graffiti... Not that it failed, but in a way it was just like he changed his sound, he changed a lot of the stuff he was fucking like, because he started working with Swiss Beats and stuff. And then, but then like after that, I think he realized, oh, graffiti didn't sell well. And then he went back to the sound that worked for him and then he never went back. Like, do you remember he did that song that was like, he decided to be like more sort of clubby and like really poppy, so bouncy songs yeah. as well. And he went back to like, he, he sort of like, he found the sound that worked for him when he was younger, very young. Another album which continued success from that, which changed a bit. And then he tried something really different. It didn't work, and he went back to something and he just continued. He was way. super young, man, when he broke out. Oh yeah, he was sixteen, wasn't it? When yeah. He run, when he did run it. You know when he got into that. Run it, run it. Oh, it was huge, bro. Yeah. But that altercation with Rihanna, so he really dived deep into that. Mm -hmm. you, so if you want to know about that, watch that. It was really interesting to hear his perspective. Um, he was seventeen when he went to court and had to do. It was on purpose. That's when like all that started. When he was seventeen, that's super young, bro. I thought he was in his 20s Wait, when wait, that wait happened. So when he hit Rihanna He was 17 He was 17 He was a teenager Damn, man Um And It's really good to hear the breakdown It's like He owned up All responsibility for it He He Went to the court himself To To He Okay What do you call it? Oh, God. Are you saying he's a changed man now? Character wise, he's definitely from the progression that I saw watching the by watching the documentary from the start to the finish, his character's very different. Musical wise, though, you know, I, I don't, it just seems like he's stagnated, like it's nothing really. Yeah, different. man, like who releases a 48 track album, man? Oh, and especially when it's all very similar. But I want to get back to Meek Mill for a second, you guys. So, yeah. filler, 
judge sentences rapper Meek Mill to two to four years in prison for probation violations. Last week, Meek took 35 kids from the Boys and Girls Club to a Sixers game, and today he's going to jail for riding a dirt bike in New York City, which all stems from a 2008 conviction which he served time for. 2008. Yep. So we're talking nearly 10 years ago. Yep. Because he violated pro pro your mm-hmm. probation. Mm-hmm. Which Chris- is. Where- and it's all because he just rode a, bit, a dirt bike, man. And they go, oh, man, I'm seeing what else I can find on this for now. And while you look, Chris Brown, he only got off probation a couple years ago. Yeah. And top comments are just like, Dream Chase is five, going to be insane. <laughs> and hashtag free meek. Jail. <laughs> it's already begun. Jail will not be a good experience. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but like, shit changes you. It has to. So at the end of the day, like, Two, four years over drop charges for something. I can't, I can't see it being longer than he's been pretty well behaved. I think. I think he'll probably get. I, I don't know, maybe I don't know what's going to happen, but at the end of the day, he did break his probation. He knew about that, so he did fuck up. It's his own fuck up. Hundred percent. It takes responsibility. Man. Not that I you know care hugely for Meek, but at the same time, he's still a human being, and I wish I wish him the best for sure. He makes music out there which inspires other people than us, so that's what it comes down to. Cops is plotting, snakes slither while hustlers chop they product uh-huh. farm 